everyone, Miss Vanessa here. I'm going to share with you some yoga movements for releasing tension um, into the upper back and shoulders and neck and hopefully help to open up the chest a bit too. So many of us are sitting at a computer, um, so this is the best time to do it. So find your seat. If you've noticed, look down at my feet. I place two blocks underneath my feet if you are short like me, and that's just to kind of give an even angle from the knees to the hips in that, um, that joint right there, or the bone, I should say, and the joint in the hip socket. <laughs> and um, it, so that my feet don't dangle, um, but that's if you're um, of shorter stance like me. And then find uh, your hands onto your thighs, lift your spine, imagine, don't imagine, actually do it. The crown, the top of your head lifting towards the ceiling. Good. And then just let the belly kind of relax. Don't hold it in. Beautiful. And then the chest is going to broaden and open. And how we're going to do that is by just letting the shoulders relax down away from the ears. So we don't look uneven, so you can see my shoulders. Good. And then the heart is gonna gently just lift up. So it's a micro movement there. So I'm sitting and it's just a little lift. I'm not gonna bring too much arch into my lumbar, my lower spine. That's gonna stay pretty neutral. So I'm not pushing this forward and I'm not rounding here. If you're finding that you're rounding in the, in the back when you're sitting at your chair doing this um, yoga movement with us, put a little bit of cushion underneath your seat so that'll help to bring your pelvis forward a bit and lift and extend, extend the lower spine. Okay, let's get started. So now that our shoulders are released, chest is open, spine is lifted, crown of the, the head is lifted, Good. Turn your palms to face up. And before um, I do anything, I like to take three deep breaths and we're gonna do this with some flower hands. Uh, so kids can do this or adults or teens, but I like to start with the hands closed. That will be a, your imaginary flower. And each time you breathe in, your palms and hands, fingers will open up and as you breathe out, it will close. So you're gonna take deep, full belly breaths um, in through the nose, through the back of the throat, into the lungs, into the belly, and then release it all the way out in reverse. Here we go. Let out all the air. Take a deep breath in. And out. And in. And out. Last one. Deep breath into the belly. And out. Go ahead, shake out whatever you don't need. Find that tall spine once more again. This time you are gonna squeeze your shoulders up towards your ears and then relax it with one of those like frustration release breaths. So breathe in, squeeze. Exhale, release, drop down. Good, two more just like that. Breathe in. Last one, breathe in. Good, spine is still lifted. Now we're gonna alternate the shoulders. So inhale, one shoulder comes up, keep your head centered. Exhale, release it down. Inhale, other shoulder comes up, head stays centered. Exhale, release down. One more time on each side, inhale up. Exhale, down, last one, inhale up. Exhale down. Wonderful. Okay, so now we've brought in a little looseness into the shoulders. Now we're gonna bring some more movement and um, stretching into the neck. So keep that spine lifted, heart is lifted, chest is open. All you're gonna do is drop the chin down towards the chest. And I'm going to do that without moving my spine. So just let it drop. So if I turn to the side, you're gonna see that I'm not gonna do anything with my upper
upper spine. I'm just letting it drop. You're gonna feel some stretching into the back and back sides of the neck. And you might even feel a little stretching into the sides of the neck. And then release coming back to center. This time you're gonna do the same chin drop release, but you're gonna move half circle the chin, trace it to your shoulder. So it's not like this, that's different. We'll do that in a second. You're gonna bring your chin down towards your chest and then little half circle tracing the chin towards the left or right shoulder, it doesn't matter. I'm looking at about a 45 degree angle the side that I am not turned to, I feel an intense stretch on that side, keeping that opposite shoulder down. Coming back to center, same thing, but over to the other side. Tracing, so keeping the gaze at a 45 degree angle, feeling the stretch on the outside all the way into the shoulder and then exhale coming back to center and lift the head. Good, so you can do that even a few more times if it feel, felt really good. So now we'll go from um, letting just the ear drop down towards one of the shoulders. And that's gonna be a different part of the neck that you're feeling stretch and open. And as always, breathe. Come back to center, same thing, other side. And on the exhale, go ahead and come back to center. Nice. So we're gonna keep moving down the spine a little bit. We just worked the cervical spine a bit. Now we're gonna work down into the thoracic spine, the upper spine. So interlace the fingers and clasp them behind your head. So lift, the, lift um, your back really tall, but then notice what your ribs are doing if they're starting to fan open. If they're starting to fan open, Imagine a little uh, elastic here and it's closing them slightly so that you're not fanning your ribs open. So here's the elbows are out to the side. Notice what your shoulders are doing and drop them down away from the ears, giving a little bit of space. And then we'll just slowly move towards one side. My spine is just moving to its side. And then back to center, same thing, but the other way and always breathe and back to center. So you can do this as many times as feels good to your body. Just notice if you're doing this, if you're twisting, we're not twisting, we're staying open. So the ribs on the open side are going to stay facing the ceiling, come back to center. Good, this time bring the shoulders, oh my shoulders lifted, bring them down and elbows come forward. So you're gonna point the elbows towards me. On the inhale, you're gonna stargaze towards the ceiling and just the upper spine will make a minimal movement of an arch. You're not gonna move into your lower spine. So inhale, chest lifts, just the upper spine. It's such a small movement. Exhale, back to center. Good. If you've never worked your thoracic spine in this way, it's going to feel really strange. And you might even feel some muscle um, discomfort tomorrow. So inhale, lift, exhale, come down. I'm gonna turn to the side so you can see what minimal movement I'm doing. Inhale, lift, exhale, back to center. Last one, just like that, inhale, and exhale. And just relax those hands. We'll do just a little bit into the middle and lower spine and then we'll um, yeah just a little bit and then we're gonna do a nice twist and then we'll end our, our um, spine neck shoulder yoga. <laughs> okay so um, bring the hands to the knees. On the inhale you're gonna do a big arch through the whole spine this time but lifting the heart. Inhale big arch just a 30 degree angle gaze up. Exhale, bring the belly button back towards the back of the chair so you might need to scoot your bottom forward so that you can bring movement. Good, I'm gonna turn to the side so that you can see. 
So hands are on the knees or thighs. My spine is lifted. Inhale, full spine arch, 30 degree angle. I'm not letting my head drop. I'm lifting. Exhale, round. Inhale, pelvis tilts forward, chest lifts up. Exhale, pelvis tilts back, spine towards the back of your chair and come back to center. So you can do that, a seated cat cow, as many times as feels good to you. And the last one is a seated spine twist. Pretty simple. So tall spine, as always, elongated spine. Bring your back hand, your one of your hands, your back hand, your one of your hands towards uh, the back of your chair. You could even scoot up and find the top of the chair. And this is even a minimal twist right here, if that's where you need to go. So I like to bring it here because it doesn't lift my shoulder up. Switch your hand to the opposite knee. Take an inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, use the grip of your back hand and twist. Good, come back to center, stay there. This time do it with a shushing breath to release. Inhale, twist. Now I'm using my back hand as leverage to pull myself back. I'm using my front hand as leverage to keep my chest open. I'm also trying not to bring my legs with me. They're gonna stay pointing forward. Come back to center. Same thing, other side. So back hand to the back of the chair, upper chair. Switch uh, front hand to the opposite knee. Tall back, inhale. Exhale, twist. Use your hands as leverage. Belly button lifts and pulls up. Exhale, come back to center. Last one, deep breath in. Exhale, twist with the shush. And come back to center. Awesome. I was gonna show you one more thing, but I think that should be pretty, pretty good. Um, if you're still feeling a little kink in your neck, you can also try bobblehead movements, which um, sitting tall spine as always, and imagine that you're drawing a little circle on the ceiling with the top of your head. So it's just little bobblehead, <laughs> and then go the other way. A lot of times, um, I've seen instructors do these big round head movements, and um, from what I've learned and from the anatomy that I have um, studied. It's actually pretty bad for the base of your skull where it meets your cervical spine to do really big head rolls. So think um, whip your head back and forth, Beyonce type dancing. Um, lots of fun, but it's actually really bad for your spine. I still do it when I'm getting a jam on, but just think of little minimal movements when you're doing your head rolls instead of big, huge head rolls. Okay. I hope that your spine feels better. I hope your shoulders and your neck and your chest all feel much more free. Talk to you later. I'm Miss Vanessa of Yaya Yoga. Thanks for joining me, bye.